Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hai chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this we going to see problem robot collisions. Again, it is marked as hard, but if you had watched previous two, three videos, it will be easy for you. Let's see. I'll give you a quick problem statement explanation. What it says. It simply says that you are given three arrays. One is a position array. Another is a health array and another is a direction array. You will have equal size of all these arrays. First thing. Next thing is, if the size is as you can see four, it represents that you have four robots on your number line at these corresponding positions, which means one robot at position three, another at position five, another at position two, another at position six. And for those robots at these corresponding positions, the health of them is as you can see ten, as you can see ten, as you can see fifteen, as you can see twelve. Again, it is in same order. and for all those corresponding robots also there is a specific direction as you can see r as you can see l as you can see r as you can see l so i also have direction so this is after using these three arrays i will build its corresponding location health and direction now when these are built as you can see that robot will simultaneously start moving on this number line what i have to do is that i have to collide these robots and after collision what will happen the lower health robot is removed is removed from the number line or i can maybe put any marker just so as to remove him from the number line you can put marker as okay when a robot health declines to zero you can make it negative something you can have a marker let's say visited a rocket has gone it has died anything you can take so which will indicate that the robot having a lower health after collision after collision as you can see again collision only happens like this so after collision the lower health robot will die the higher health robot because for sure if two people are colliding there are three possibilities if two robots are colliding there are three possibilities the first primary condition is their direction should be opposite and the robot in the left should be moving right the robot in the right should be moving left that's the first primary condition which the robot that okay it needs to collide which means the robot in the left which means its position should be less its position should be high on the higher position side its direction should be left on the lower position side its direction should be right okay and after collision there are three possibilities that okay if the health of both of them are same h h health of both of them are same h h in that scenario both of them will collide both have same health both will die which means i can say both of these health will become a zero okay but what if one of the health is high if one of the health is high the lower health will die it will become a zero the higher health should be reduced by 1 h will become h minus 1 so this is the case and okay uh, vice versa also is true that uh, if this is the higher health person on the left and this is the lower health person so its health will reduce by 1 and its its health will become zero now when this is the case ultimately again this will keep on happening depending upon how many collision happens then ultimately you have to tell what all robots survive and give their corresponding health ultimately make sure this is a final condition return an array containing the health of the remaining robots as what you wanted but in the order they were given in the input as you can see in the input as i have given if first you have to return the health of a person again considering if he survives as you can see both of them will collide and both of them having the same health will die then these these two will collide and as you can see that my number 12 is less so 15 will reduced and become a 14 so this will be the only person surviving in that scenario again make sure that you will have to go on to all of these positions in the order as given the problem statement itself firstly go to 3 then go to 5 then go to 2 then go to 6 whosoever is surviving put them in the order so if i take this as a scenario as you can see all of them are moving the right but if i take the input array 5 is first so 5 is first so health 2 should be first then 4 is second then 4 is second so health 17 should be second so this is how you have to represent the output now now let's take a new example and let's see what's going to happen so i have given the position of all these robots again as you can see position will say their corresponding number line values 
I have given the direction also as you can see the arrow in the pink color and in the white color I have represented the corresponding health. Obviously, uh, what you will do, you know one thing for sure that any robot in the left side moving to the left will actually keep on moving to the left. Any robot to the right side who is on the right of the number line will keep on moving to the right. They will not collide with anyone, right? That is true. And this is what we can take advantage of just to analyze what's happening in the problem. So these robots, they will keep on moving. These all are moving to the, all are moving to the right, all are moving right. They will never collide with anyone. But now they encountered a robot who is also coming to its also coming to its left. So what will happen? This robot, it can collide with these robots. But Aaron, it should collide with only one robot, right? Yeah, exactly. But because of how the collision happens, as again, right now I'm just focusing on this picture and I went on and I went on and started looking for what all collisions are about to happen. So at this moment, I realized, okay, it will collide with this robot. Now, when these two collisions will happen, what will happen? When these two collisions will happen, what will happen? Ultimately, this is having a higher, so this will reduce to number seven. This will go entirely, which means this is gone. You see, this is gone. Okay, then again, this will end up colliding with the other robot with the reduced health. But still, it is less. It will again reduce to six. And then this again, it will be gone. Then this again will be collided with another robot. But what will happen? Because of 10 being higher, this will be reduced to nine. And now this will be gone. So as you can see, with that specific element coming in, many of the robots are gone. Again, just to represent this gone scenario, I can make their health as zero or I can make them make their health as minus one or anything, any particular pattern I can take. I can take even track of visited or the new health like this variable I can also take. Now, okay, again, again, you see that you encountered a person moving to the right. But what if there was a person moving to the left here, then I would have collided that with the person who is remaining. So, so far you must have seen that which data structure can replicate this process which I'm doing right now. Okay, but we will go on to that data structure. But so far, you should be knowing that what's happening. You had a robot, then you had another robot, then you had another robot, then you had another robot. Right, right, right. This robot had a health of 10. This had a health of 2. This had a health of, I guess uh, it was 8 or something like it was 6. Okay, 6. Then another robot came in which, which checked and removed it from the removed it from the top or basically the end. Another robot checked and removed it. So this is what a data structure which can replicate the process as stack. Again, just for you to make sure like I when again, I don't know if you could relate or not. But when I read this problem, I could replicate it as okay, the robots moving to the right can be as open parentheses and the move, robots moving to the left can be as close parentheses. So technically, I'm making close pair with my open pair, close pair with my open pair. And then again, maybe it could, it could, it could happen that I have another close pair, which could have made the pair with the open pair. Same way, how, when we have these open close parentheses kind, uh, parentheses kind of a concept, we use our stack. So now, okay. So, so far we are low. We know that, okay, we can use a stack to replicate this process which we are doing right now while dry running it. Okay. But still here it is five. It should still go in the stack or so anything moving to the right should go into my stack. Because it could be collided to the person who will move to the left. Okay, this will go. This will go. Then comes a person move. Then comes a person six. I will check the top of my stack. It is six. Oh, so firstly, its health should be zero. This is gone. And the person on the top of the stack is also should be gone. Then five. Again, I will encounter person 10 moving to the left. He should be collided with this person. Its value will be reduced to nine. Obviously, and then this will be gone. But in the stack, I also have a person moving to the left. So this will help me make sure, okay, these two will collide again and I will have no one remaining. It, it could have happened if its health would have been 11, then I could have reduced it to 10 in the previous operation. In the current operation, this would have been less. So this hits health reduced by nine. This is entirely gone. In that scenario, the health remaining will be nine. But print in the order what is given the problem. And that is ultimately what you have to do. Cool. Let's quickly code this up. It's very easy. Firstly, we will have to make sure that I will go on to, if, if you remembered, 
आई विल गो ऑन टू माई रोबोट इन द ऑर्डर एवर इज ऑन द एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट बट द पोजिशन आर ए कैन बी गिवन इन दनी ऑर्डर द पोजिशन आर ए अगेन लेट्स इफ आई नंबर द इंडेक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट माई पोजिशन आर ए कैन बी लाइक दिस ऑल्सो सिक्स सेवन फोर टू थ्री वन एट so i have to firstly make sure that i should iterate in this order of sorted sorted order of my positions array but also i cannot afford to actually sort this position array why because you remember in the end you will have to return the answer in the order they were given in the input i have to return the answer in the order they were given in the input itself So I cannot afford to actually sort my positions array technically, but still I want to iterate on in the order of lowest lowest position, the next higher position, the next higher position, the next higher position. Then okay, five I missed. Okay, let's say five and then six and then seven and then eight. This is how I want to iterate. So simply, there is one way I can replicate all three arrays, make up make a vector of all of them, and then sort on the basis of position array. that's one way other way is that make a new array called as ids make a new array called as ids this array will contain the indexes as you can see its index will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is the indexes now i will sort these indexes on the basis of position array on the basis of position array which means which means this index after sorting should be sorted on the basis of its position array as you can see that uh, okay i should uh, make sure okay this if if this is a position um again i just want to number it so let's say that this is the input position given to me this is the in input position given to me so the indexes ids will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so i have to sort this index on the basis of its position so i will say that 6 after sorting ids 6 will come first then this is gone then 4 will come next then 5 will come next then uh, 3 will come next then uh, then 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 0 will come next then 1 will come next then seven, then my number 2 will come next and then number 7 will come next so this is after sorting my ids array i received that in this fashion in this so i will firstly go on to my id 6 then my id 4 this represents that in this fashion i should i should iterate on my ids because i sorted my ids on the basis of my positions array so i will do one thing again this is although there is one very easy way to think about it is that make a pair make if because you know that you have to sort on the basis of positions so make a new vector which have will which will have position of i health of i and direction of i and then make a vector of vector of this position of i health of i and direction of i and then sort this thing entirely that's one way but again you see that you will take a space of 3 into n just to make it and to sort it so it is much more beneficial that you make a ids just indexes and then sort those indexes on the basis of a specific parameter on which you want to sort so again this is the extra concept just i add on so i will sort my ids on the basis of my as you can see i sorted my ids on the basis of my positions array whosoever is small should come to the left whosoever whosoever's position is small should come to my left that id should come to my left now when my ids are sorted i can iterate now on my sorted indexes i will firstly make sure if something is moving to the right as you can see let's let's now erase this and let's imagine that i am moving in the sorted order of my ids order of my order of my ids now if something is to the left if something is to the left sorry if something is moving to the right it should be pushed to my stack so i'll simply push the corresponding index in my stack so i'll push the corresponding index to my stack again make sure that this is the indexes which i have given the positions are given to me on the basis of those positions i have given the index to the position and ultimately i am going on to that specific indexes so 
what will happen that if now some now things are sorted i'm just going in the order of the positions in the sorted order so this i will push in the index of the specific person then because it, it is moving to the right okay this specific index let's is pushed again for simplicity let's simply put the indexes number okay i erased it but let's put the indexes number as so this index became let's say it was 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 and 7 so firstly i pushed in the index 7 again this is after sorting the positions array i i push in the index 7 and then i push in the index 4 then i pushed in the index 3 okay then comes the person because again things are moving right they can be pushed to the stack but when the person will come who is moving to the left i should make sure i can remove the elements or the robots from the stack until my stack becomes empty at this incoming person i will check the health at the index 3 at the index 3 the health is 6 my health is 8 firstly i will remove that specific thing decrease my health to number 7 again the stack is not empty so check back again the stack top go on to that specific index check its specific health if it is less decrease my health and then okay and again just to make sure ultimately in the end your main aim was to return all the robots which were alive which had their health so as this robot was collided or is gone i again I will override its health and will say zero. Will say zero. Although in stack it is removed, and that's what I wanted also. But ultimately, in the end, I have to iterate on this health array itself. So I'm making it as zero. But yeah, it is removed from the stack. Now uh, it will be compared with the element at the index seven, which is a value of ten. My value health is six, so I should go to zero, and then his health, his health should go to nine. So I will modify at index seven. The health is 10, it should modify it to 9. So let's see this process. What will happen until the stack is empty and the health of the current element is more than 0, which means it could have happened that okay, the stack is the stack is as you can see, the stack is not empty here, but the his health has become 0. So okay, he's dead. He's dead so far. So if he's not dead, which if he's if the incoming element which is moving to the left, if he is not dead, simply make sure compare compare as i showed you there can be three possibilities either the health either the health of this incoming person which is moving to the left if its health is more than the health at the stack top then which means this is dead this person is dead so i will have to reduce his health by minus one so i have reduced his health and the person at the top is dead when i say it's he's dead i will modify his health to zero and i will remove it from the stack and then simultaneously i will just do okay if if the person in the stack stack top is if it if its health is high so i will make sure to reduce his health and then make sure i will make him die which means i i, I will make him make his health to zero so i have made his health, health to zero and i have at the stack top i have reduced its health by minus one what if both of these people have health the same if their health is the same both will die so both of these health will become zero and the person at the top of the stack should also be removed. Now, when this is done, the entire process of collision is done. After this collision, everyone having a non-zero health, the person remaining in my actual answer. In that scenario, I will iterate on my stack again. This is, I'm actually, sorry, not iterating on the stack, but I'm actually iterating on the actual original array. I'm iterating on the original health array because that original health array was in the order of original positions array. So I'm iterating on the original health array and checking if the health is non-zero, simply push that specific health. This will make sure I'm pushing the health in the order of what positions were given to me in the very beginning. It is not in the sorted order. Remember that part and ultimately return the answer. Thus, because of sorting, this is a bottleneck. It will take O of n log n time. And because of using your stack, it will take O of n space. Thus, the time will be O of n log n and space will be O of n. I hope you got it. If yes, then do smash the like baby. Bye-bye.